All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Better Minecraft. This is going to be episode four of our series of completing all the quests. I did a little item sorting off camera and did a little extra touches to the base by putting a fence around here just to protect ourselves from mobs. But I basically moved everything from downstairs and moved it upstairs in our attic here. So we got rows of chests going up and down here. Um, and they're pretty much labeled to what they're going to be. We've moved our teleporter kind of here. And we're slowly filling out the house. But I think for the objective on today's episode is going back down into the deep dark. We are going to take a peek at the warden's lair. And then also we're going to go investigate that one um, dungeon that we saw in the previous episode. Uh, because we are going to complete a quest over there for sure. Going straight down into the deep dark. Got our turtle friends over there. So if we take a look, we'll have to go back up, but it was kind of in this general area where that extra dungeon was at. I think that might be some remnants of it. But we've already completed everything in here except doing the boss fight. Obviously, we uh, need another star to continue that. But we're going to continue exploring down here. And these uh, these bats better not attract Warden. I didn't bring any extra wood, so we're just going to be going all in pretty much. Uh-oh. 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 Huh. I've never encountered the warden before, so this is going to be uh, scary. What's that? I've never seen that before, so we'll take a look. Gotta wait for our thing to go away. Okay. So we gotta sneak around and be careful here. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No. Get out of here. Dude. No. What? Where did that centipede come from? Oh my god. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh, that is rough. That is rough. We just lost so much XP off of that death. No, 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 no. What? Bro, there ain't no way. Do we have anything to get this guy with? Oh man, dude, come on. That's actually annoying. Oh my lord. Oh. I guess that's why they call it the deep dark for a reason. Bro, you need to chill. That's the warden. Uh-uh. Is that the warden? Yeah, it is. What you looking at? You sniffing me out? What you doing? I own you, Warden. I ain't scared of you. I'm scared of that centipede, though. Oh! 
Oh. Okay, maybe I'm a little scared. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Rose using freaking left the P. All right. All right, before we actually go deal with the warden and stuff like that, we're actually going to go take a trip to that spot we found. Probably the safer bet for now. Kind of sucks that we just uh, lost everything there, but uh, okay. So we should be entering in here in just a moment. This dungeon type area is not that bad, if I remember correctly. Okay. Right next to the lava, we're gonna enter in. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, not good. There we go. Oh, shoot. I forgot about all these spawners here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we just light that up. There's four spawners, one under each chest there. Just need to take care of those. He should be good. We'll actually be able to finish our spawner quest as well, since we can get fragments. Alright, here's one spawner. Perfect. Multi-shot. Actually, that might be good to add on. We definitely want the string so we can actually get some more uh, wool going. Spawner 2. I got some good iron string. So 1, 2. Would be... Here. Oh. Yo, what kind of book channeling? We don't really need that. You can get this last spawner. Perfect. All right, let's keep exploring. It's down there, another campfire. Oh yes, we got another loot room here, perfect. Another apple, perfect. Emeralds, nice. Uh, protection, projectile, projectile, protection, multi. Okay, another multi shot, perfect. Gold block here. What is this sugar? I don't know why we have that. Apples, perfect. All right, so we're actually good. We're gonna complete one of our quests as well. We got the guy here that we need. Might as well just bypass this, go through here. Do a little shortcut. I don't even have a right tool anymore. I broke. Uh, do we got any wood? I'm not even gonna be able to make another tool, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's no wood. That is not good. All right, so now we need to get to this back room over here, which is gonna be through here. Yo, no vindicator. 
You need to chill. Chill, buddy. Yeah. Oh, no. There we go. Get out of here. Alright, let's see if there's any goodies over here before we go finish those guys off. Um, no, doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I've actually not seen this before. What the heck is down here? It's just a weird staircase. That's it. Buddy, you're about to die. There we go. Well, that's uh, our quest done, was the Illusioner. I'm surprised he chased us down. Made it easy, easy work there, but... We got our first totem, but this is of Illusion. And what this does is, whenever you get low on health, basically, it will spawn clones of you, and it will give you enough time to get, at, get out of dodge. It's not the best totem, but uh, we'll take it. Go to the quest line, and that was the illusioner that we ended up defeating. And we get a bouncy ball from that. Very spectacular, indeed. You throw this thing, it goes crazy. Oh, I didn't know it actually damaged you. Um, we just got more mobs to spawn over here, which is interesting. There's two mobs over there. I think those might be illusioners, illusioners as well. But we'll stay away from them. All right, let's get out of here. Um, are we lost? No, we're good. Yo, I need to chill. I was just thinking to myself before we leave, let's actually kill these guys because we can get more totems. And that's going to be a big bonus. Here we go. Perfect. They're not the best totems, but the more the merrier, honestly. We got our totem slots full. Alright, now that we're back at base... We can start putting stuff away and prepping ourselves to go back to face the Warden once again. Warden is actually crazy OP. I didn't realize he can shoot through walls and stuff like that. It is crazy. Alright. So, our plan of attack is to somehow get past these motion sensors here. Let's take care of this creeper real quick. I think we'll go this way on the left side. We do want to watch out for that centipede. I do not know where it came from, but I don't know. Oh, there's a zombie spawner back here. Hello. Actually, light that up real quick. Alright, come on, skeleton. Cut it up. There we go. There's a diamond there, too. That is great news. Alright, so we got a quiver. That's actually pretty dope. Um, Alright. Quick charge. We already got that smithing. Gold. More string. Okay. What else we got in here? Cobble. Got piercing plus one. Another quiver. Iron. And we got some gold. Not a bad spawner, actually. Could be a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, let's take it out. Perfect. 
All right, let's actually claim our diamonds here. Is it only one? We'll see. Deep slate diamond. Okay, so there's more than one. Perfect. Oh, let's go. Any more? Okay, three diamonds. That's not bad. We'll take it. I love the shaders, though, for the redstone. That glow. It's actually pretty dope. Alright, we're not supposed to be mining right now, but uh, we'll leave that iron. We don't really need it right now. Alright, so... Wait, is that another spawner room over here? What? I just noticed that. But the corner of my eye, that's freaking crazy. What's going on? It's hanging... You hanging around, spider? Let's go. Look at the sea serpent armor. Okay, what does this do? Makes bone serpents uh, neutral towards the rider. Okay. Iron. We got a lead. That's nice. Just in case we find a little goblin. Dirt, really? Eh. That was a weak spawner room, but uh, that's all right. Ooh, this is, uh, we're in a tight space here. These sensors. No. We just spawned them in. Crap. Whoa. What? What? Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that hyena laugh? Bro, you need to screw off, skeleton. Bro, what was that noise? Hyena. The one unfortunate thing is this is not actually a warden's um, lair type thing because it's just a small area. There's no like bridges or anything like that, which kind of sucks. Because there's no loot, so I'm basically just fighting the warden <laughs> and hoping I don't die. But, uh, I guess we can give it a shot. We'll spawn in the warden, see what happens. We die again? Uh, I don't know. Bring him in. All right, buddy. Let's roll. But oh, you just damaged yourself. Come at me. Come on, weakness. You're weak. You're weak. You can't take this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We are running for our lives. No, 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 no. There can't be two. There can't be two. There can't. They, no, 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 no. This is not supposed to happen. I'm gonna give this warden one last shot here. I really don't think I can kill him. And I have no idea what kind of skeleton that is. Bro's decked out.
I really don't like you, Warden. I really don't. You need to chillax. Bro needs to chill. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. I'm not ready, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. Maybe I put a bucket of water here. Water, water, water. I don't know if that's going to do anything or not. It's working. All right. So we are completely out of arrows. Yeah, we don't got much left. This kind of sucks, dude. I really want to kill him. And I can't even see how much health he has either. Alright. Yeah, we're not going to be able to finish him off. kind of sucks. Alright, we'll leave him be and skedaddle. Actually, go back. Kind of sucks. Okay. What are you? Bro, I'm about to die. I don't got time for this little freaking guy here. Yo, what? No, uh-uh, no, dude. You're telling me you are with the warden? Nah. Looks like we're eating rotten flesh. Alright, I'm just going to make an executive decision. I am not going to be able to fight the warden. So we are actually going to go back to the abandoned mineshaft and actually check that out since we didn't do it last episode. Eh, looks like it still needs some burning down to do. We'll uh, set it ablaze while we go take a peek through everything. Okay, we got a couple of mine carts this way. TNT. We got down this way, probably nothing. We might as well torch that. Alright, let's see. Any goodies in the chest? Oh, okay. Take some diamonds. Soul stealing? Well, that's actually good. We're going to need that later on. Let me stow some of this stuff away. Take that. Alright. Mineshaft isn't that great, honestly. Oh my lord. That is a deep hole. Does that go to the surface? There's no way. Um, alright, let's go up. Oh, there's another mine shaft too. I just saw that. 
Wow, this actually goes to the surface. That's actually crazy. Um, before we burn this whole thing down, we need to climb up because there is another mine shaft that we can get to from here. And I'm actually interested in exploring that really quick. Wow. It connects right to it. That is crazy. Hopefully we have a better luck in here. Nice, more diamonds and iron. We're having some good luck here. Yeah, we didn't get this yet. Channeling, more iron, some bread. Got some long tunnels. All right, well, let's head back down into the deep dark and teleport back to base. I think we'll wrap it up here, honestly. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. All right, we're back at base. That was a doozy of an episode. We did end up killing the Illusioner to get that quest on, and we're also going to complete the Spawner quest here um, as well, because we do have enough fragments for that. There we go. We'll probably make a Spawner farm eventually, a mob grinder. Um, I don't know what we're going to make it out of, because we need to use the Soul Stealing to get a Soul to actually activate it. Um... But yeah, what else? Let's see, we'll claim our reward, which is looting too. It's actually good. Um, hmm. We still need a lot more quests to do. Uh, I will do the aquarium one really quick, because it's just glass, pretty easy. Just so we have another quest completed for today. There we go. What else is pretty easy to complete? Alchemist should be here. Yeah, we need glass and deep slate, which we'll have no issue for. Oh, I realize you can't throw those in the blast furnace, which kind of sucks. I wish you could. We'll get that going. Get our cobbled deep slate. Okay. There we go. We got our alchemist table as well. We got another quest completed. More emeralds. What else can we do here? Pretty much it for now. Could do some storage stuff, potentially, yeah. But I think the next objective for the next episode is going to be actually fighting the Sunbird in the Savannah Biomes. Surprisingly, this boss isn't that difficult. Um, he is challenging, though, because he shoots sunbeams at you. And then he has a bunch of minions that are annoying, and they also heal him as well. But... There's a cheese strap for him, and best believe we are going to be doing that for sure. Um, we're still on the look for the conjurer, because uh, he's in the dark forest, but we do need to go find another dark forest, potentially, because the one we found is a no-go. One of the easy things we could get done is the defend village from a raid, but... Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It wasn't too spectacular. We did die a lot of times. Uh, too many to count, honestly. And some of them you're probably not going to see. <laughs>
but um, hopefully in the next episode we can actually fight a legitimate boss and actually kill him and uh, get you guys some more content. But stay tuned for episode 5 when we locate the sunbird and take him out. But I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.